Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay Bolio and I'm a registered nurse and the Calgary Stroke Program Coordinator. This podcast will review the transition to tenecteplase for treatment of acute ischemic stroke. We will review the transition to tenecteplase, including information about how to reconstitute and administer the medication, with specific information about stroke dosing and the pre and post nursing care required. Acute stroke thrombolysis is the standard treatment for acute stroke patients in Alberta. The current approved drug is Altaplase, which is given as a 10% bolus dose, followed by the infusion of the remaining 90% over 60 minutes. Tenecteplase, on the other hand, is a slightly modified tissue plasminogen activator used to treat myocardial infarction. It has now been approved by AHS for treatment of acute ischemic stroke, and it is administered as a single bolus dose over 5 seconds. In 2022, the Alberta-led ACT trial was published evaluating the efficacy of tenecteplase compared to altaplase in the treatment of acute ischemic stroke. The trial demonstrated tenecteplase 0.25 mg per kilogram is non-inferior to altaplase 0.9 mg per kilogram. Altaplase and tenecteplase share an equivalent safety profile even in the setting of endovascular therapy. The tenecteplase package contains a 50 mg vial of tenecteplase, a 10 ml vial of sterile water, and a dual cannula syringe device with a blunt plastic cannula and a blunt needle. You will also need an alcohol swab and a saline flush. To reconstitute tenecteplase, you'll withdraw the total amount of sterile water from the sterile water vial using the cannula provided in the tenecteplase package. Slowly inject the sterile water into the tenecteplase powder vial, avoiding aggressive agitation of the solution. Swirl gently until fully reconstituted. Be careful not to shake the vial. This process may take about one to two minutes for the tenecteplase powder to dissolve. And once dissolved, it'll be ready to use. The final concentration of tenecteplase will be five milligrams per mil. Tenecteplase for stroke treatment is based on weight band dosing. The dose should not exceed 25 milligrams or five mils. Ischemic stroke dosing is not the same as cardiac dosing. Failure to give the ischemic stroke dose could result in intracranial hemorrhage and could be fatal. Confirm stroke dosing by performing an independent double check with another qualified healthcare professional. Tenecteplase is a high alert medication, which bears a heightened risk of causing significant harm when used in error. Please refer to the Alberta Health Services Provincial High Alert Medication Policy for more information. Administration instructions for tenecteplase. Step one is to determine the correct stroke dose of tenecteplase based on the patient's weight band dosing. Again, this is important to note that stroke dosing is not the same as cardiac dosing. The second step is to withdraw the appropriate volume of solution based on the patient weight and perform an independent double check with another qualified healthcare professional. The recommended total dose should not exceed 25 milligrams or five mils. The last step is using an established patent IV site Use the port closest to the insertion site and administer tenecteplase as an IV bolus dose over 5 seconds. Flush with 10 ml of normal saline following the administration over 1-2 to two minutes. Do not mix tenecteplase with any other medications or use any filters on IV tubing. All patients must be on a cardiac monitor and patients must be in a monitored setting for the first 24 hours with close monitoring for the first 6 hours post-treatment. Healthcare professionals administering the drug must have the individual competence, experience, and education, and be knowledgeable in operating the required equipment and or performing the monitoring. The specified equipment must be readily available, and the required monitoring must be performed and documented. For further monitoring requirements, please refer to the Alberta Health Services Acute Ischemic Stroke Thrombolytic Protocol for tenecteplase. For administration details, please refer to the Alberta Health Services Provincial Parenteral Monograph for tenecteplase. Monitor your patient exactly as you would for an altaplase traded patient. Specifically, monitor and document for any adverse events such as signs of neurological worsening, clinical deterioration, bleeding, or angioedema. In summary, tenecteplase is a one-time bolus dose administered over 5 seconds. There is no infusion associated. Ischemic stroke dosing is not the same as cardiac dosing. Failure to give the ischemic stroke dose could result in intracranial hemorrhage and could be fatal. This is why an independent double check is so important. And lastly, the pre and post care is the exact same as an altaplase treated patient for the treatment of acute ischemic stroke patients. Thank you so much for listening.